If I can hold the hope for them, then, you know, that's a good start. Until they can pick it up and they get a little glimmer of hope themselves. Desperation gets people in the door because they don't know what to do. But the more it's talked about and the more it's out there, then they'll know someone who's done something like that and then they can, you know, because um, that's the other thing. People don't know the support available. A, that they have the right to have any, and B, that even if they did have the right, where would you go? There are people who, quite frankly, because of the, the whakamara and the, and the shame, they would prefer to do it individually and they don't want to involve family. We support them too. But uh, ultimately, the best way to heal a family is with the whole family. And the best way to heal someone in a family is with the whole family. And I really normalise that with my clients too, because they go, oh, am I doing my programme right? Yes, you are. Are you making mistakes? Mm-hmm. And you're doing it right. One of the, the challenges is to address the dependency, but then to look at the entrenched behaviour which has occurred from the lifestyle that, that goes with that. Um, alcohol and drug use, you know, the, the, the fact that it's all egocentric, you know, it's about me, 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 you know, being able to move into where you think about other people's feelings and needs as well as your own. And it's not to say that we're going to meet all their needs, but at least we're able to offer a safe environment that we're off able to monarchy people who come into our service. So we can sit with them, we can have a tea and a coffee, we can talk about whanaungatanga, we can talk about where we come, how we connect. That first week, we, they're just messy. And they're tearful and they're looking at the ground, they can't hardly open their mouth, to that fourth or fifth week where they're shining and they're going, give it to me, I want more.